Give God a thunderous hand clap as we welcome up our man of God, Pastor Eric L. Jackson. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen, amen. Before you take your seat in God's presence, one more time, turn and give your neighbor a great big hug and let them know you're happy that they're here. Amen. 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 It's good to see you this morning. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's go before the throne. Father, we just come before your throne this morning that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time. Father, we give your name all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory for the great and wonderful things that you're doing in our midst. Father, we worship and adore you because you alone are worthy to be praised. You are the great God, and besides you, there is no other. You are our Alpha, our Omega, our beginning, our end, our first, our last. And we love you, Lord, today. And Father, we ask by your precious Holy Spirit, the power that worketh in us, that you deliver a word to your people. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray that you will think through my mind speak through my lips anoint these words for your people and father we pray that your word will not return void but it will accomplish that which you sent it and prosper into the lives where it is sent amen amen you all ready for the word this morning amen amen well you in for a good word this morning amen like like our assistant pastor rosa said this is the last Sunday of this year, amen. We're going into the 18th year of this new millennium. The 18th year of this new millennium. We go into tomorrow, amen. And in my research, I looked up what the number 18 means biblically, not numerology. We, we're not in the numerology, but biblical meaning of the number 18. Amen? Amen? And that biblical meaning was quite shocking to me when I discovered it. And that meaning was bondage. And I'm like, Lord, how does this relate to us, your children? Bondage? You know, we have all, every number has a meaning. Biblical. And they're all good. We get to 18, and he's saying bondage. So with prayer and seeking God, what are you telling us, Lord? Well, he's saying it's our responsibility to make sure that his people don't go into bondage. Amen. It's our responsibility to make sure that his people come out of bondage. Amen. And to stay free in the liberty wherein Christ has set us free. Amen. 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 And in that, I just want that on your mind because I don't want any of us, the sound of my voice, going into bondage Amen. this Amen. year. Amen. And if you're in bondage, you're going to come out. Amen. This year. Amen. 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 Let's give God a hand. And uh, Lamar, right? Your name's Lamar? Mm -hmm. God told me to tell you that you're going to have your own business. Thank you, Lord. I think you like technology. God is saying something in the technological field. Amen. Amen. You will have your own business. By the end of this year, Amen. your business will be possible. Amen. In the area of technology. I don't know you, I've never met you before, but that's what thus saith the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's give God a hand for Thank you, Jesus. Our scripture reading this morning will come 
from Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, and we'll read quite a few of these verses. Amen. I'm teaching this morning because it's a lot of information I need to get to you before this year ends. Amen. Deuteronomy 28. Now, these are the things that God desires for us to have. The Bible declares, 3 John 2, Beloved, I wish above all things. What is all things? Everything. All things, everything, Amen. anything, all some, right. most things, everything. All I right. wish above all things that thou mayest what? Talk to me, church. Prosper, Prosper and do what? Be in Even as So, God said he wishes above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers. All right. It's relative to how your soul prospers. Because see, every man is dealt a measure of faith. Oh, boy, I got some scholars up in here. Every man is dealt what? The measure of faith, not a measure. A measure means Brandon could have got a gallon. All right. Amen. Right? Amen. Erica could have got a pint. Amen. Amen. Javon could have got 20 gallons. Amen. That would not be fair. Amen. Amen. God is fair. Amen. So every man gets the measure of faith. It's one measure that we all get. But it's up to us. Amen. To develop it. Amen. It's just like a muscle. If you want a big muscle, you got to work. You got to develop it. Okay. If you don't keep developing it, it'll shrink back down. Amen. Perfect example. <laughs> Amen. But you got to work. Amen. To increase your faith. And here's what God is saying to us. This is where God wants us as his people. Deuteronomy 28. Read, preach it. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord. If. Turn to your neighbor and say, if. 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 Go ahead. To observe and to do all his commandments, which I commanded thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. What, what? Did you hear that? Thank you, Lord Jesus. He says, the Lord will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Now, when you see the word nation, that just means a group of people. Okay. It don't mean uh, Africa or, or, you know, Soviet Union. It just means a group of people. Amen? Amen. He says, if thou shalt hearken, what? Diligently. Diligently. That, that means with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Yeah. Hearken into the voice of the Lord. Go ahead and preach it. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. Uh, all these blessings you will have to run after. Amen. No, no, no. It, it says what? That they will overtake you. The blessings will take overtake you. They will run after you and overtake you. Amen. Amen. If, somebody say if, tell your neighbor if, if. you hearken, what? Unto the voice of Diligently, thank you, dear. Diligently unto the what? Voice. Voice. voice of the Lord. That's what you're getting right now, the voice of the Lord. I'm not your Lord, I'm just his mouth. Amen. You're getting the voice of the Lord this morning. Pray and study. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, preacher. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Wherever you go. If you go to the city, you're going to be blessed. Amen. If you go to the field, you're going to be blessed. If you go to the country, you're going to be blessed. Amen. If you go to the coastline, you're going to be blessed because the blessings will overtake you. You don't run after them, they run after you. Yes. Keep reading, preacher. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body. 
Your children, the fruit of your body are your children, your grandchildren, you. your lineage. Thank Go you. ahead. And the fruit of thy ground. And the fruit of thy ground. What is your ground? That's where you get your sustenance from. Amen. That means your job, your business, your careers, whatever God has called you to do to make sure you. that you're blessed. We have to have a vehicle of blessing. That's why your ground is going to be blessed. Go ahead. And the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. The fruit of thy cattle. That means all your substance. See, back in the day, this was an ag agricultural society. And that's what they measured you by, your cattle, your sheep, your oxen, and those things like that. But now he's talking about all your possessions, your homes, everything that you get from hearkening diligently to the voice of the Lord. You, Lord. All your substance. And guess what will happen to your substance, your cattle, and the increase of our kind. That means you're not going to just have one cow. You're going to have herds of cattle. All right. You're, you could buy a cow, maybe with a bull, and they have a whole herd. Mm -hmm. God don't just want to bless that cow. He want, you, you can start your IT business. Amen. Come on, Pastor. Amen. And not just have one, but have them things franchised all Amen. over the world. <laughs> See, because God wants us to elevate our thoughts. Amen. See, it's more than life than minimum wage. Amen. And getting pimped all your life, working for somebody your whole life, and then when you retire, you got to go back to work. God wants more for his children yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. than that. You used to get a gold watch. You don't even get nothing no more. Just God. But your businesses will multiply. Amen. Go ahead, read. This is a good read right here. Go ahead, preach it. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Your basket. Your bank accounts. Your bank accounts. Go ahead. Blessed shall be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. No matter where you go, you, your blessings of God is on your life. Thank you. Your store, your pantry, you're going to always have food. Thank you. If there's an emergency, people can come to you, Thank you, your basket and your store, to feed people like God is calling us to do. This is what God wants for each and every one of us, not just the ministry. Amen, amen. Read, preach it. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. People that's hating on you, you ain't got to worry about them. Amen. We need those type people so God can show how great he is. Yeah. Come against you one way, flee seven different. Go ahead, preach it. The Lord shall command the blessings upon he, he, thee. He, he's not going to ask the blessing. All right. He's not going to ask the blessing to All come. Right. He's going to do what? Command. command the blessings. What? Upon thee. If thou what? Hearken. Diligently. diligently. See, that's the problem. We leave out diligently. Right. We hearken when we feel like hearken. But that's not diligent. Amen. Amen. In thy what store houses. God wants you to have several, multiple bank accounts. Amen. Because the bank FDIC only insures a certain amount of your money. Amen. So before you walk in the bank, look at the door. It'll tell you right on the door Amen. how much they're going to insure. Some say 100000 some say 200000 So if you put 400000 in the bank and it's only insured for 100000 and the bank collapsed, you lost 300000 So you need to find another bank. Come on. Yes. So all your money is insured. That's why he said store houses. See, that's how God wants to bless his children. I'm a good father. Oh, no, no, no. Let me take that back. I'm a great father. I'm an excellent
excellent father. I'm one of the best fathers you have ever seen in your whole life. But see, I can't be as good as father as God is to me. So if I want the best and only the best for my children, how much more shall your heavenly father that owns all the cattle on the thousand hill, the silver and gold is mine, saith the Lord. I don't own all the cattle. I don't own all the silver and gold, but your God does. And yeah. Come on. Preach on, Pastor. Thank you. Mm. Come on, preach. And in all that thou settest thine hand unto. And have, shall... have you all noticed that? Whatever we set our hands to do, God bless us. Yes. Whatever it is. Yes. We could have a lease on another property. Owe the people $96,000. But we set our hand for another, God on him, yes. another property. Yes. God bless this one. Bless those people. They let us out the lease so we yes. come in here. All right. yes. Everything you set your hands to do. That's how God wants to bless you. Amen. Are we reading his word? Yes, sir. Yes, we are. Go ahead, preacher. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. He's going to give you land. Amen. Rose is not going to be the only one. Buying a house this year. Amen. Amen. Vinay, you buying a house this year. Amen. Robin, you buying a house this year. Amen. You understand? All right. what, what, what did he say? What did God just say? Come on. Read that again, preacher. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The, the house got to sit on some land, don't it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, I hear people say, man, I'm going to have my house built from the ground up. How else are they built? I've never seen a house built from the roof down. Yeah, we got to have land. Go ahead, preacher. The Lord shall establish thee a holy people unto himself. Unto himself. He's calling you out of darkness into his marvelous light. You will be a holy people unto the Lord, Amen. not this world system. Amen. See, some of y'all can't get with that because you ain't believe it yet, but you're going to believe it before it's over. Amen. Amen. Because this is all you're going to hear for a while until we all raise our level of thought, raise our level of asking. You have not because you ask not. And God wants us to ask for big things. He's a big God. He's not a little poop button yes. like the ones y'all been serving. Huh. Yes. Amen. He is the God. Amen. And he wants his children blessed. We are representative of him. Amen. We are ambassadors Amen. of Christ. Amen. A holy people. Chosen generation. Royal priesthood, Amen. peculiar people, Amen. holy nation. Yes. That's who we are. And that's what God wants us to walk in. Come on, preacher. Keep reading. Yes. If thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and if, walk in his ways. If thou shalt what? Diligently. That's right. Thank you. Did put that in there. Diligently keep the commandments. Huh? Amen. Go ahead, preacher. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord God. You, you won't have to ask nobody to come to church with you. They'll be asking you what time your church start. Where is your church? I see God's hands on your life. I see God is blessing you. I see you a royal priesthood. I see you chosen of God. You won't have to struggle, people. You'll be beating folks off of you. No, I can't pick all y'all up. I got two other families. Let me call somebody. Amen. People will run after you. Just like God's blessing does. Amen. Go ahead, preacher. And they shall be afraid of thee. 
they will be afraid of you. What that means is they look at you and they know something different about you. That they, they'll have a reverential fear, a respect for you because they see God's hand is on your life. Amen. They won't understand it. They want to know how is it. Come on. How is it that your job does something when you get ready to retire that they've never done and they've never done since? How did that happen? How you get two retirement checks? Come on. They won't be able to figure it out. How is it that everything you go through, Doc, you come out smelling like come on. rose? How is it that can't nothing stop you? I need some of what you got. What are you using? Show me what you're doing because I see how good God is in your life. Yeah, Robert, don't let the devil trick you, Doc. It ain't nothing out there in the world but jail and death. Amen. Amen. God's blessings, man, are the best thing you could ever have. The best yes. thing you could ever want in your life. God, when, when you're walking in God's blessing, Doc, he has seen you a good woman. Oh, he has seen you a virtuous woman. Yeah. You, will have, you will have a household full of arrows. You, yeah. you will have, well, what that is, is to quiver be full of children that will run businesses. You can start one business, have seven, eight children and say, have them running seven, eight more businesses. This is what God wants for us. He wants to bless us so everybody will know they'll be afraid of you in amazement. Astonished. How can that happen? How can that happen? Yes. Did we finish that? Go ahead, preacher. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods. Plenteous in goods. You will have substance. Mm, yes. And watch this one here. Come on, preacher. In the fruit of thy body. In the fruit of your body, you just walk in perfect health. In the fruit of your body. Now stuff will come up on you, but you can tell that stuff to get up out of my body. Right. Arthritis leave my body. Back aches leave my body. Headache, migraines leave. Because God is taking us somewhere. Oh, I'm about to get ahead of you. But go, go ahead and finish this. Go ahead and finish this. And in the fruit of thy cattle. And in the fruit of everything that you set your hands to do, God is blessing. He's blessing your cattle. He's blessing your businesses. He's blessing everything you set your hand to do. See, Satan, God said, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in hell. So Satan hears that. So what does he attack most? Your health and your prosperity. So Satan is attacking your health. He's attacking your prosperity. But the Bible just said, what, read that again. Preacher. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods. Plenteous in good, that's your prosperity. In the fruit of thy body. And in the fruit of your body. Amen. You see, because even as your soul prospers, you're not going to prosper financially. You're not going to prosper in your body until you change your mind. Amen. Until you stop looking at yourself as less than. Let them know. Get, get it out your mind. Take that crap out your mind. I, I can look at some of y'all. I'll be talking to some of y'all. And I can see... Y'all ain't hearing me because you're hearing that nonsense that people talk to. You got to renew your mind. Romans 12 says, do not be conformed to this world and how these crazy people think, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You got to renew your mind because it's been clouded. It's been abused all your life. People have been abusing your mind, your will, your emotions. That's why some of y'all jacked up goofy because you need your mind renewed. Thank you, Lord. And the, I done got to my seconds. Woo! Yes. Yes. The only way, see, it's three things that God wants from us, his children. It's just three basic things. The first point is obedience. If thou hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father God. 
Now every man is dealt the measure of faith, but how you gonna work yours? Amen. What are you gonna do to increase yours? Amen. What are you gonna do to magnify your faith? Amen. Amen. That's good, preacher. Go to go to Mark, preacher. What are you gonna do to increase your faith? Because see, it's gonna take faith. That's the second thing God needs. He needs our obedience, and the second thing he needs is faith. Because without faith, it is what? Impossible to please him. Amen. He that cometh to God must believe that he is what? God. And he is a rewarder of them that what? Diligently seek him. We got to get our minds right. We got to know what to say. You can't walk around saying, my back hurt all the time. Because every time you say it, you're giving more strength to the backache. Right. Every time you say my author, Uncle Arthur is bothering me, Amen. you're going to have arthritis yes. problems. Because you keep speaking that into existence. Every time you say you're too stupid to learn something new, you're going to be stupid because you're going to get Amen. what you say. Read, read, the, read the Bible, preacher. Read the Bible. Mark. Did I say that? Did I give you that one? 11 and 22. 11 and 22. And Jesus answering, saith unto them, Have faith in God. Have faith in God. One translation says, Have the God kind of faith. See, what had happened, this is what happened. Uh, Jesus had been, they, they traveling all over, preaching the gospel. They went to this one church. They was in there selling doves and Doing all kinds of stupid stuff in the church. Amen. So Jesus got to turning over tables, made of a whip, beating, uh, popping that whip, ran everybody out the door. Amen. So he's tired. Now. He's walking back with his disciples. They see a fig tree. They got leaves on it. They go over to get some figs. There's no figs on the tree. Jesus cursed the tree, said, no man will ever eat of you again. Because if you got leaves, you ought to have figs. Right. Figs yeah. can be for the leaves. Yeah. But that's a whole other topic. We can get deep into that one. I'll say that one for Tuesday. Amen. But anyway, he cursed the tree. They gone. Coming back the next day, they passed by the tree. And Peter says, Lord, the tree that thou cursed is withered away from the roots. This is just the next day. And Jesus said, Doc, that ain't no big deal. Have the God kind of faith. Have faith in God. That if you say to this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in thine heart. Amen. See, it's all right. Doubt going to come in your mind. All the time, it's going to come in your mind. Thoughts come. You can't stop it from coming, but you can stop living by them. You could denounce him. You could say, Amen. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. You a liar and the truth ain't in you. Amen. You understand? Amen. So he's saying you could have whatever you say. Amen. But we got to know what to say. Amen. We got to quit saying I'm broke as a joke. Too, bro too broke to pay attention. All that old stupid stuff. Come on, Pastor. Amen. Amen. You see. He said you can have whatsoever you say. Amen. So that's why we have to renew our minds yes. and get all that crap out of our head that's Amen. been planted there. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's contrary to the word of God. Amen. You see. If I was an alcoholic, Jesus delivered me. I ain't stand up and say I'm an alcoholic for the rest of my life. I'm a child of God. Come on, man. Come on. You understand? Amen. 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 That's right. My words have power. Yes. Not some organization. Come on, man. My words have power. You know why? Because I'm made in his image. In Amen. His image. Amen. I know him very well because I know his what? His word. Come on, yes. And his word. 
shall not return void. That program might return void. Wow. It might not do nothing for you. But God's word will not return void. Yeah. It's going to accomplish what he sent it and yeah. prosper into the life where the word is sent. For have faith in God. Have the God kind of faith. Go ahead, preach it. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall, but shall not doubt where? In his heart. You see, doubt gonna come, but you don't let it get in your heart. Right. How, how, how do you let it get in your heart? By agreeing with Satan? Right. Satan say you can't do it, then you say I can't do it. Yeah. Now that crap is in your heart. Right. Now you need to get delivered from that crap. We have to know what to say. And, and that's the problem with most of us. We talk so dang much, but don't know what to talk about. Yeah. We want to talk about everything but what God said. Amen. Amen. All right now. Amen. Everything but what God said. Because most of us don't know what God said about us. We don't know what our creator said. We don't know what the one that made us in his image. In his yeah. life, we won't get to know him. We want to know all the stupid stuff. Yeah. Who screwing? Who? Who did this? Who went to jail? Yeah. Who got know. beat up? Yeah. Who? Who did this? All that old nonsense crap. That's what we want to know. About. Yeah. We want to stay online all day, looking at all our friends' lives. Amen. 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 I'm on. I'm on Facebook all day long. Who this friend went to the Bahamas? But they didn't tell you their lights got turned off. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. They, you, they didn't post that part. Amen. Amen. They didn't post the part where it. All right. Yeah. 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 Come on, can you just get back to the word? Well, come on. Well, where were we But shall believe that those things which he said. With who said? No. You said. Shall not doubt in your heart, but believe the things that you say gonna come to pass. Amen. You shall have what? Whatsoever. Whatsoever you say. If you say you're stupid, you're gonna be stupid. Oh, man. If you say you're a child of God, and the cattle on the thousand hills belong oh, to my God, man. and I can grab one anytime I get ready, because they belong to my father. Yeah. The silver and gold is his, and there's no reason I'm gonna be broke. There's no reason I'm gonna be outdoors. I praise God. I seek him diligently. I'm diligent with mine. And there's no way in hell I'm going to have lack. Because God's word will not lie. Yeah. Believe that you receive them. You don't have to believe when it gets there. You know it. You don't have to believe I'm here. You see me here. All right. Yeah. You might have to believe I'll be here next Sunday, yeah. Yeah. but you don't have to believe I'm going to be here now because you see me here. Yeah. So when you pray, you believe that you received it when you pray. Yeah. So all you got to do is thank God for it. Yeah. And if it don't show up in the next five minutes, that don't mean it's not coming. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what's wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, God got y'all on that. I mean, the devil got y'all on that microwave Amen. society where everything's supposed to come quick. Amen. God don't work like that. Amen. Yeah. It's things that God has for store for you that you're not ready for. Amen. Amen. You jack it all up if He gave it to you right mm -hmm. now. Amen. Amen. You see, God's calling is without what repentance, but it's time. It's just as important Amen. as his call. Amen. 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 He has to get you ready for it. And the only way you're going to get ready for it is hearkening diligently into the voice of the Lord. Amen. Of God. Yeah. Exodus 12. Exodus 12. Amen. We got, we got Exodus 12? Yes, sir. Go ahead, preacher. One. Through 12. Uh, uh, Exodus 12, 1 through 12. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, 
This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. And That's it, tomorrow. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and it shall be the first month of the year to you. Amen. Speak ye That's unto tomorrow. all. Go ahead. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next, to, next unto his house take it according to the number of the souls. Now, what is what this is saying? What's happening right here is, is the children of Israel are in bondage. Amen. But what I need from you in order to release you from bondage, I need a lamb. I need a... Come on! Yeah. And I, I opened the boxes and I put it was two pieces left. It was two drumsticks. One was a whole drumstick and one was a half drum. The leg was broke and it was all squished up. I didn't even want to eat it. I didn't. I ain't eating that. That's the way some of our offerings are. Blemish. Leg broken. Look deformed. That's the way some of our offerings look. When, when, when we work Make a thousand dollars, we can give God twenty dollars. That's a blemished offering. Amen. Man, Man. nobody want that. I ain't need that. I want a whole drumstick. Huh. Man. I want no deformed food in me. Amen. You know what I'm saying? So God is asking for a sacrifice. Go ahead, preacher. Keep reading. A male of the first year, ye shall shall take it out from the sheep. Or from the goats. Mm -hmm. And you shall keep it up until the 14th day of the same month. You, you're going you're gonna to take a, 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 a male sheep that's a year old. You're going to put him up, fatten him up, get him good and fat. For 14 days, you're just going to feed him, feed him, feed him. You put him in a little pen and just feed him, feed him, feed him. That's what we did in the country. We got ready to kill the hog and put it up for about a month or so and just let it get fat and fat and fat. You don't let it walk around and keep it in the pen so it just eat and sleep, eat and sleep, eat and sleep, eat and sleep. And it get big and fat and plush and juicy. But anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. Mm -hmm. and, they'll, and they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper doorposts of the houses wherein they shall eat. And they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Now, now listen to this. Listen to this. God is saying, I want you to take this lamb, I want you to kill it. I want you to eat everything from the head to the hood. All the guts and everything. And then I want you to take the blood and smear it on your house. That's what I want you to do. Go ahead, preacher. Eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with water, but roast with don't fire. Don't boil it. Don't eat it raw, but roast it with fire. Go ahead. His head with his legs, and with the pertinence thereof. That mean all the inner parts. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning. Eat and it all. Uh -huh. The guts from the rooter to the tooth. <laughs> That's what the Bible said. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. It's saying what the Bible said in our language. Yes, sir. Amen. Okay. Eat the whole thing. Go ahead. And thus shall ye eat it with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, wow. and your staff in your hand. And ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. All right, now, what's happening here is you all know the story about the children of Israel. <coughs> they were in bondage, they were slaves for 400 years. They cried out to God, deliver us, deliver us. Now, 
Slaves don't have a lot. That's why they said if you don't have a sheep, hook up with your neighbor and got one. And y'all families eat that one. Because slaves don't have a lot. Slaves only get them a give get enough to wake them up in the morning there you go. to eat so they can work the whole day. Amen. So in order for God to deliver his people, he sent plagues to Egypt. See, Pharaoh said, I'm not letting the people go. So God would send a plague. He sent flies. I mean, flies everywhere. If he, if he, if he, you wouldn't even hardly be able to see me because flies would be everywhere. Oh, the water we drink turned to blood. Oh. Drink. All kind of stuff. Had lice all in your bed. Frogs all in your house. Just all kind of plagues. Every time he sent a plague, Pharaoh said, all right, I'll, I'll release him. Amen. I'll release him. And then God, yes. not, not devils, God would harden his heart Amen. and say, I ain't letting y'all go. Come on, Every time that happened, the frogs, all right, I'll let y'all go. They get ready to go. Pharaoh said, y'all ain't going nowhere. <laughs> the blood can't drink no water. All right, I'll let y'all go. Pharaoh said, okay. God, harden his heart. Y'all ain't going nowhere. Lights, flies, locusts. This happened nine times. So now, here it is. Moses, God, we done been through this nine times. Now you telling me to eat a lamb from the rooter to the tutor. You telling me to eat it with bitter greens. What weeds? What are bitter? What are that? Weeds? He didn't say collard greens. He didn't say mustard or turnips. He said bitter herbs. This ain't going to be good. But I want you to do this. This is what God is saying. This is what Moses is telling the people to do. You love some people. Man. Like some, if some sitting in here right now. They said, I wish this nigga would hurry up. You know, you got people like that. You just got to understand that. Yeah. Everybody ain't going to make it. Yeah. I tell you all the time, I either see you at the top or from the top. Oh, the man. choice is yours. Oh, Everybody ain't going to make it. Some people sitting there ain't listening right now. Yeah. This is the best teaching you done heard your whole life. Yeah. Can't wait till I can get to the house. Five that blunt. Go get drunk. Get beat up. Can't wait. True. Catch a cake. Whatever. Can't wait. You don't fly here. I've been through this, man. You got to tell us to get ready with the frogs. To get ready with this. Now you want me to eat a whole lamb. <coughs> you want me to take blood and smear it over my house? Yeah, man. And while I'm eating this and smearing blood, I just got the house the way I wanted it. <laughs> And now you want me to smear blood all over the house? On the front door where everybody come in? And they say, what kind of nasty people is this? They won't wipe blood off their door? Amen. Amen. So you want us to go through this again? We done go through this nine times, man. You want me to eat this bitter herbs, some weeds or something, and um, the whole lamb while I'm dressed, ready to go so Pharaoh could tell us no. That's what you want us to do. But guess what? That's what they did. They were obedient. They hearkened diligently. And guess what happened? Come on. Guess what happened? Yeah, somebody Woo! know the word. Setup. Yeah, yeah. Guess what happened? Uh huh. Yeah, these people in bondage for 430 years, they listened diligently into the voice of the Lord. Huh? God tells them to go the long route 
Don't go to Rogers Philistines because they got they having war over there. Some of the scary people of the faint. They'll run back to Egypt. You know, like people say, I ain't coming here no more, you. I'm quit. I'm going back to the world. Remember how I was when I came? I was broke, didn't have a car, didn't have a job outdoors. I want to go back to that. Amen. So he said, I don't want you to go that way. I want you to go around the long way. So around the long way, the only way they could get was to the Red Sea. Now they at the Red Sea. Wondering why did we go this way, Moses? Now we at the Red Sea. Where are we going? Now God hardens Pharaoh's heart again. He done got his whole army. And now they follow him. After the children of Israel. We ain't letting them go. So they at the Red Sea. God tells Moses. Doc I'm finna get some honor. You ain't never seen before. I'm gonna yes. get me some honor dude. All I want you to do is stretch out. Your rod towards the sea. He stretched out his rod towards the sea. On, the sea. Oh, I ain't talking about Apollo Park. I'm talking about a sea. The sea opened up on both sides. The children of Israel walked through the sea, the floor of the sea on dry ground. Pharaoh, he had, they had a cloud of pillar cloud before him. And the angel lead him. The angel and the pillar got behind him to separate. Pharaoh and the children of Israel. The children of Israel going over on dry ground. Pharaoh and his stupid behind goes in the river after. By the time the children get to the other side, they coming out. The sea closes up and drowns everything from Egypt. But see, God is not just going to free us from bondage. Amen. Amen. You're doing things right now that will affect your children's children. Praise the Lord. Yes. Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus. Lamar, you're going to be a powerful businessman. Make sure you get the right wife. Amen. Because you're going to have children. Because you will set up things today that your Amen. grandchildren will reap from. Amen. Read 35. And the children of Israel did according to the word of Moses. And they borrowed of the Egyptians jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment. Now, now before they left, see, see, this is what I'm talking about, people be afraid of. There were so many plagues on these Egyptians, they couldn't wait to get the people out. After the first plague, they wanted the people to go, but God kept hardening Pharaoh's heart. Mm -hmm. Just like you guys go through. Oh. Seem like I should be over this right now. No, God ain't ready to bring you out yet because there's still some more things you got to learn. Oh. Wow. wow. You see, there's still some things you got to learn. Number one is how to be obedient. Amen. Half y'all in here don't know that yet. Amen. Half y'all out there don't know that yet. That's why you can't keep a job, can't keep your husband, can't keep your wife. Nobody follow you. You ain't learning how to follow me. Come on, Pastor. Amen. 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 Oh, yeah, we coming out of this. Amen. We ain't bringing all this in. Thank you, Jesus. We coming out of bondage. We ain't going into bondage. Yeah. We coming out of bondage. And guess what we coming out of bondage with? Come on. You see, God told Moses to tell the people to borrow silver and gold and rubies and yeah. pearl, yeah. stones of silver and gold and clothes. Borrow all that the Egyptians were so tired of plagues, they were so tired of going through hell, they told the children of Israel, take everything you want just get on up out of here take everything you want Pharaoh said, I ain't got nothing left we going to get on yes. <laughs> so if you have, if you borrow all this Gold 
and silver with jewels in You know what jewels are? Rubies and diamonds and carbuncle and onyx and clothing. They left weighted down. They borrowed. Expecting to give it back. When you borrow something, you, hopefully you give it back. Amen. Right? Uh, yes, when, when you lend to people, hopefully they pay you back. Amen. But God will put you in a place where it don't even matter if they do or not. Because you can lend to men Amen. and never have to borrow. Amen. Oh yeah, you will get there. You know how I know you will get there? Come on, Because God got me there. Yeah. Amen. And if you'll do it for me, you'll do it for everybody in here and everybody on the side of my voice. Be able to live in the many and never have to borrow. Don't you worry to take it back. Because God, well, y'all know him. God yes. is the ultimate. He owns everything. Yes. So, if you leave out of some place with all these goods that you borrowed, and everybody you borrowed from is dead, yes. you don't know a better debt cancellation program than that. God wants to raise you up. He wants to shine you up and get glory because that's how he got glory over Pharaoh and everybody else in the land knew who the children of Israel were. And that's what God is doing for you. If, talk to me, if you were what? To the voice of the Lord your God. As it is this day, what day? Every day you read it. Oh, Every man. day you say it. So you got to be able to speak the right words. You got to be able to speak the right words. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to make sure everybody's saved first. Amen. It's not going to happen for you unless you receive Jesus as your Lord. Amen. How many Jesus people in the house? How many people have asked Jesus to be your Lord? And if you have it, don't worry about it because we're going to have that opportunity right now. Everybody stand to you. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Everybody stand to you. First prerequisite, this is for God's children. Everybody's not a child of God. The Bible told us that. Amen. But as many as received him, Jesus, gave he the power to become sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. You got to believe on the name of Jesus. How many of you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, you God. Believe, you Hallelujah, believe that? Lord. Well, you're halfway there. If you believe Jesus is the Son of God, the Bible says, If thou shalt believe in thine heart and confess with thy mouth that Jesus is the Son of God, and God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved from with the heart, man, believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. All you have to do is believe on him. Amen. And then the next step is ask him to come into Hallelujah. your heart. Hallelujah. That's all you have to do. And we all going to pray right now. Everybody's going to pray right now, all over the building. You're going to repeat after me. Dear Lord, Dear Lord I, come to you now. I come to you now. Just as I am. Just as I am. You told me to come just as I am. And I come believing that Jesus is your son. And you raised him, and you raised him on that third day. On that third day. And, because I believe, and because I believe, Lord, you said, I can ask, ask Jesus into my heart. Into my heart. Father, send your son, Father, send your son into, my heart. into my heart. I receive Jesus now, I receive Jesus now as, my Lord as my Lord and as my Savior. And, as my Savior. and from this moment forth, and from this moment forth I, am your child, I am your child and you are my Father. And, you are my father. and as your child, I ask that you forgive me of all my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. And I receive it right now in Jesus' mighty name. 
Amen. 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 Anybody prayed that prayer for the first time? You are now born again, child of God, according to Romans 10. Anybody in the house, ministers, come on up. Anybody in the house that prayed that prayer for the first time, you are now born again, child of God. Come on up here. Come on up here. And let's, the Bible says, when one soul give their life to Christ, when one act is, there she is. Come on. Come on. Girl. One soul give their life to Christ, all heaven is rejoicing. All heaven is rejoicing right now. Anybody else? Anybody else pray that prayer for the first time? Admit it in your heart. You are now born again. Come on. 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 Come on.